in the last episode this happened just because they don't want me to score a hand trick i just got completely up how did the defender oh my god and after a lonely long five months on the sideline we are finally back not only are we back but with a vex we are back with a vendetta remember all the skill points i have been saving up to the last episode well i use all of them and this is our rating now we're a 91 freaking rated 17 year old on level 14 94 pace 94 dribbling 94 shooting 92 parting and 81 physical I don't know how his physical got to 81 because <laughs> it's not really that good. I mean, I basically just worked on his stamina and his reaction, but I guess jumping is a part of it. Anyways, Frankfurt had better hope that I did not catch them in the next season because I think we've already played them the second time around here. So they better hope to God that I did not catch them. But anyways, we have a match against Czech Republic. I think it's Czech Republic. How Conrad Zadina get a goal right after his big um, break? That is nice. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at the power of that. Can we do it? Yes, we can. And I think I think we got this in the bag. In it. Exactly. All right. So we have one goal in the bag already. And now we have a chance for a second one. This is exactly what happened in the match against Netherlands. But I think I should be able to easily get past this defender, though. Yeah, exactly. Just easy. Easy work there. All right. Get past the keeper as well, and I do not know why he doesn't use his left leg there. But I mean, I still haven't worked on his weak foot because I actually want to do like a messy thing where his right foot isn't really all that useful in life. See with the ball. Maybe shoot it, please. And why would you use your head there? That is so uncalled for. All right, we have a counter attack. I don't know how this is a counter attack, but it's looking good. And that is not a very. Oh my god, we still have the ball. Can we save it? No, we can't. I mean, he is really, really gunning it right there. But anyways, they have scored another goal. And I don't know if we are going to be able to come back. But let's see if... Well, this game, this game is... This game is going to be the death of me, oh God. Alright, so we have a counter. Oh my God, they are 3-0 up already. I mean, there's no way that we're going to be winning this. Because this guy is about to fuck this up. Well, I mean, we're going to score here. I guess that's the... How does that even score with that? That is crazy. That is crazy. I think I'm actually a bit overconfident. <laughs> I swear to God. Because, I mean, I'm not a night one rated player. And, well, night one rated players lose matches as well. Please, don't, don't stress me. Defeating the Derby. I don't know how the hell Germany versus Czech Republic is a Derby. But I'm going to make promise to the fans. That is what I'm going to say. But next up, we have a match against New Zealand. This one is going to be... Um, I don't know. It should be easy. This, the one against Jericho probably should have been easy, but I mean, it's playable highlight, so you can't always really predict exactly what is going to happen. It was a disappointing loss against Jericho Republic, but I can only hope that we come back stronger in this match and make sure that we come out with the win here. All right, we kick off and let's see how well we can do in this match. We have a crossing opportunity to start and let's see if I can get myself in a very good position here, please. Oh god, should I have done something acrobatic there? I don't know. But we are we are literally, at this point, we are literally missing opportunities for fun. But this looks like a very good position. Okay. Oh, oh my god, that is so good. That is, that is so good. What I did there... I mean, that is... I can, I can feel the 91 from him. I can feel the 91 rating. All right, so we have a... It's not really a solo run, but I feel like they're going to converge on me really fast here. But... Can we score? No, the keeper makes a very good save. I mean, it was straight at the keeper, so there's not really a lot I could have done there. But now we have a... Free kick. But I think I'm going to get, try and get this to Jonathan Tarr, you know if it would actually get to him i don't know if it would it did and he actually saved that which is crazy okay back to me and we still have the ball maybe and oh god the keeper is on crack you know do we still have the ball Yes, we do. All right, we're still with it. Nah. Please get back to me. 
Uh, that is outside. All right. So not really a lot we could have done there. I mean, we could have probably done a lot, but this is looking really good. I need to bend my run, though. Let's hope that they do not fuck me up. All right. I think... Get this out. Shit. I don't know if I was... Yeah, I was upside there. That, that is sad. All right. So we have one more chance. We're the ones that are crossing the ball here. So let's see if I can get anybody. What the hell is going on with the running? He was running really funny. That was offside. Please score it. He did. All right. So that is two assists in one match. And we have possibly won this game. Because of the assist. I think this is the first time I'm going to be winning the game on assist alone. And well, that is really good. We did really well. We got two out of the three of our objectives. We we're supposed to score a goal, but I really um sacrificed that for getting two assists instead. That's the first time I'm getting more than one assist in the match. It feels feels pretty good. I absolutely own the pitch against New Zealand. I'm unstoppable. Exactly, bro. Tell them. I mean you you're you're coming back with a villain arc. Why the hell am I in the subs though? Is this because of the injury of the whole injury thing? That's why I'm going to be starting as a sub. I do not like this one bit. Honestly, I do not like this one bit, but we have a VFL Bochum next. So we're coming in in the 82nd minute. I want to play the full match because it's pretty late on in the match, so it really shouldn't take that long to finish. But honestly, I can't believe that we're already in 91 waiting in the first season. In our first season, we even got injured at that. I mean, it's, it's, actually, it's actually rather mental. It's actually rather mental, but oh my god, I forgot to change this. Oh shit. I forgot to change the kits. This is going to be crazy. Wait, who is who though? Which one am I, am I, am I playing to? All right, what's happening? Oh my God, look at this speed though. All right, we have the ball. Get it out wide. And can we find ourselves in a good position here? Get out wide again. And we're going to get the ball back. We're going to try and shoot from here. The defender does really well to block that and they're safe for now. Okay, we have the ball. Let's get this to him. And get it out to me, please. Alright, so what the hell happened there? How is that even offside? Oh god, the speed. The speed I'm carrying is crazy. Oh my god. I don't know why I didn't pass there. I don't know why I didn't pass there, but I just feel like I have some sort of vendetta against life right now. Actually, coming, right, coming, coming back out of that injury. Please give it to me. Okay, I think we are definitely going to be scoring here. And that is our first goal in the Bundesliga right after our injury. Frankfurt, I'm coming for you guys. Possibly I'm not going to be playing you guys again this season, but I mean, keep that in your fucking scores that I am way, way better than usual. Oh no. All right, they hit the bar. That is, that is mad. Really unlucky for them. They failed to get that consolation goal. But I think the match is going to be ending pretty soon. How much time do we have for... Uh, Okay, get this back out wide. He gets it back to me. And please score it. Oh my god, he doesn't score it. That was such a good pass. I honestly thought it was offside, but I, it turns out I timed it really well. All right, that is the end of the match. We've made a pretty good impact in the short time that we were on the pitch. And well, let's move on to the next. Next up, we have the Bundesliga match. We are in the finals, or rather the semi-finals of the DFB Pokal against Dortmund. I really wish that I was going to be playing this match. But sadly, I am not one of the people that are going to be in the starting eleven thanks to a bloody injury. So, I'm going to start from whenever I can. And hopefully, I can get to the starting 11 before the finals but i don't know it's not looking like we're going to be able to keep our contract with bio leverkusen i really hope that because i mean we're not going to be in the starting side for a bit like probably like the next three matches or something we're probably not going to get there unless like we do really really well in every single one of our matches but leipzig is looking like a really good shout and we have a couple new teams as well we have drogeda united i have no idea what the fuck this team is what the fuck is this team and then we have PSG. PSG, we possibly might be able to go there. But the outside of the box goal scored is what is really killing me right now. But PSG looks like a good shout just in case we cannot stay in Leverkusen. 
for next season. All right, we are currently winning and we're coming in in the 75th minute for Pedro Gonzalez. We're going to be playing as a right attacking midfielder. You have at least one inactive playstyle equipped. All right, so we have gotten to tier five, finally. Playstyle inactive. Why is this one inactive though? I look at 50% virtuoso. How, how did I drop in virtuoso points though? How, how the fuck did that happen? Oh, I think everything like, you know, balances out. So we need to be more virtuoso than the, any other thing. All right, that makes more sense. We need to like pick more of the virtuoso thingies. So, I mean, we're going to leave that as it is right now. We will get back to, it will come back to normal eventually. So we're going to be playing starting from the 75th minute. And let's see if we can grab the win and move on to the finals. All right, we're going to excuse them for a bit here. And I am going to try something mad. They're trying to kill me again. They're trying to fucking kill me again. These guys are mad. Our defense really looks to be sitting up. I can we score here? We cannot. All right. So you guys, you can do well here. Please don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. What the bloody hell? Please just play out to me. All right. That is really good. Okay, my player is being such a speed demon right now. Oh no, how the hell did he get that? All right, we have a little bit to go and we just need to make sure that Dortmund doesn't do anything really crazy here. And that is a really clutch save. That is so clutch from the keeper. All right, that's another one. So please get this out to me, Ta. Get this out to me, thank you. And I think we have this in the bag, hopefully. This is looking really fucking dangerous here. And no, we don't have it in the fucking bag. They scored at the last minute. But I think we're going to extra time. So that's more time for our players to actually do something. So even though it's originally a bad thing, um, I think good can actually come of this. Unless Dortmund decides to, you know, go crazy all of a sudden. All right, that's it for full time. Dortmund really saved themselves there. But I feel like we are going to extra time. And if we don't, we're probably going to be moving to um, the second leg, I guess. But let's hope that it's extra time. All right, so it's extra time, exactly. All right, they have changed us to the center, the striker position, which is where we play best the most. And that is such a good... Oh, the defender read us like a book there. The one two wasn't going to work out. Okay, thank you. B? Trevella and of course we get our goal there so that is yet another goal for Conrad Zahn what a good goal and we are possibly going to be through to the finals if we keep this lead or if we even capitalize on it all right let's see what we can do here Morris good that is brilliant maybe second goal and the keeper does really well to save that Oh god, that is such a good pass, but we're able to read it and we keep the ball. Yes, we do. Oh no, oh no, don't let them score. That is such touch defending. That is the second freaky time that's happening in this match. Alright, so let's try and make sure we stay in front of Schlotterbeck. But I mean, they go short though. So I mean, let's just get ready for a possible counter attack. Which is happening pretty soon. Alright, get it back to me. Oh shit, I'm already offside. I was already way offside. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I, I zoned out there. I didn't think that the defense was going to like keep their line. But they did. Which was obviously what they should normally do. Alright, it's just like one more minute before the end of the match. And I think that we got this in the bag. Let's just hope that um, Dortmund don't like pull out any surprises. But I think right now, even if they get the ball back, we we still got them. All right, so that is the end of the match. We have won it. 2-1, we are through to the finals of the DFB Pokal. It was kind of a scare when they equalized there. But not to worry, I knew that. I knew that if we went to extra time, we were definitely going to win it because I had fresh legs. I am such a speed demon right now. And well, it was, it was it was always good to happen. All right, next up, we have the match against Heidenheim. We're coming on as the right attacking midfielder again. And we are going to be jumping to result here because I don't really, I'm not really interested in playing against Heidenheim 
but we do win the match 3-2 is quite close but we don't score i think it's the first time that we're not scoring in a match next up though we have union berlin and we're going to be coming on in the fifth minute i'm going to jump to result here as well and hopefully we win it yes we do florian Brits gets the two goals that seal the victory for us later on in the match we don't score again as well but i really hope we get assists we don't what i need is to be scoring goals in this match to be honest let's look at what we have left to do in this season we have a couple matches we don't have just two matches left in april and then in may we have um freiburg dortmund and mines i'm obviously going to be finishing the league in this episode because i mean it's just really really few matches left to play and we haven't even played a full 90 minutes so i need to what i need to do is to play the highlights of all these matches so that i can at least push myself back up to the starting 11 before i get into this freiburg match but what i'm really scared about right now is the fact that we have very few matches left and this is all that's left so there's no way that we're going to be making to be staying in in Leverkusen unless they don't really care which all mandatory contract objectives be eligible for this contract i don't know if that means that they're not going to give me a 204,000 wage a week or if that means we're not going to be getting a contract at all but leipzig is still an open option and then we have i mean the other teams are here i don't know if we can still get into them to be honest because of this outside the box goal score that all of them require i don't understand why that is a big deal to score from outside the box like what the hell is that about but next up though we have the match against fc st Pauli. we're currently leading one nil and we're coming in for maris who is a weird substitution there because why the hell are we going to be starting as a freaking right mid that is very weird but i'm going to be playing the highlights as zan we have actually done really well in all the matches that we have come on in as a sub and this shouldn't be this shouldn't be anything different to be honest they have a free kick but i think we're going to be jumping to an attack all right so we have something really good here and we might possibly be able to go around them or may maybe make an assist yeah that is even better can we score this we do and all right so that is 2-1 well oh, i don't know if it's going to be turning to 3-1 now but that was a really really good goal by Horazan jr let's try our best to defend it i don't know if i'm supposed to be defending it or not but i'm just going to let the defenders do what they do best and hopefully the other team don't score us because that's supposed to be really really annoying oh my god all right so they hit it out wide and we're good so now we have a crossing opportunity uh, i think we can possibly make an assist here or not and we just like lost the ball there that is sad so we have one more opportunity here i believe or we possibly have one more after this but let's hope that it is no i lost the ball oh my god please tell me that we have one more all right we do have one more okay we are in on goal please score it oh my god he doesn't score it all right so we draw the match though but it was a really good match i feel like we could have done a lot better than we did there but i mean uh, i don't know we should have won that match i'm not really happy with that next up we have fc augsburg they're currently ninth of the league and i'm really trying to push for this starting level thing but it's looking to be a lot harder than i imagined we're coming in for teller here so i hope that uh, we can get like a couple goals so that we can really boost our ratings up to the top all right so complete two passes get at least one goal or assist i'm going to enhance the, the passes to three and hopefully we can actually we can actually do really well here all right i don't know why we have a defensive scenario to start it's actually kind of weird but i mean that just goes out for throwing so i think we are good next up we have a crossing opportunity for leverkusen this is actually a really interesting position that we're in to be honest can we score it yes we can definitely there's no way conrad zan is missing from there no way in hell he's going to be missing from there I swear, I thought I was going to do the gritty. I don't know what the hell that was, but okay. Next up, we have the Leverkusen attack. Is this ball mine or is this someone else's? Okay, that was called for. All right, so we have a solo run here and we are looking really, really good. We are looking really fucking good. Let's just boost it. All right, I don't think that there's any way in hell these guys are going to be catching me. And I fucking missed it. I fucking missed it and thank god 
thank god it wasn't one nil because that would have been very very devastating i don't know why i would try to do that thing with my left leg so with my right leg because i mean it's his weaker foot so it's kind of weird that he would I, I did that to be honest all right so we got all our objectives right so i feel like if we train one more time we might possibly get to the the first team which is going to be in like six days hopefully the thing doesn't go all the way back down i just saw the team of the week we've been coming in as a sub but i feel like i might have seen my name in there somewhere but no i was just dreaming our, our name is actually there we are on the left mid position which is actually weird because we're a striker but i mean all the best i mean we still we still made it to the team of the week even though we have been coming on as a sub that just shows how good our player is so we're not able to get to the starting 11 but definitely in the next match we're going to be in the starting 11 but we're already in may if i'm not wrong and we have the match against dortmund next we're going to be playing the full match for that that is like perfect timing because we're going to be starting in the in the starting 11 for that match and then we are just three points behind Bayern, and we need Bayern to lose to drop some points man we have just three matches left and i need them to drop some fucking points in those three matches and us we have to win every single match from here on out coming in for hoffman we are going to be starting as a striker finally so let's hope that we can get ourselves a win here honestly don't know whether the coach has some personal beef with me because he has been starting me in some weird ass positions but we are going to enhance the passing um objective because it's you know just the easiest to complete but we have a counter attack here for leverkusen are they going to pass it to me straight away hopefully they don't but we have pace and that is exactly what i'm talking about man we're scoring this are we and i don't know what the hell happened there i don't know why he was trying to sort out his feet like so slowly but i mean we still got to go out that's what matters next up we have another counter attack and we are the ones that we're the only ones out here, so can we do this? No, we can't. <laughs> but nobody's looking like they want to do anything, but that is really brilliant. And Mares, oh my god. Mares does not disappoint with that. Mares finesse shot is wow. That is beautiful. But anyways, crossing opportunity. We have another one. So I think I want to go far post for this and let's hope that he does no it doesn't work out sadly no no come on i was already offside i mean you guys can clearly see i'm offside what the hell all right so we do win the match we got a goal and we got an assist so i hope that we actually have all our objectives in check but this leverkusen team is actually looking really good as opposed to how we started this season they have done they have grown so well to be honest and i'm really really interested in being a part of whatever future plans the manager has for this team Javi Alonso, yes he's not in the game i don't know why we are going to be starting in the starting level for this match against dortmund and i cannot wait man all right so i just changed my last play style from this quick step to the first touch because they were telling me that i don't know how we got locked to be honest i have no idea how we got locked but i changed it to the first touch though so i think our first touch errors would be like way less right now after a long time we are finally going to be starting a match we have been doing really good so far so let's hope that we can actually carry all that and put it into a match that actually that actually freaking matters all right get it out to mares who will possibly get it out to me and he failed at that all right so let's let, let's just move on oh my god that is dangerous but can we all right the defender sorry the keeper did really good there all right Dortmund have another really interesting chance here and the defender does really well to start but oh my god what the fuck is that goal what the fuck is that goal we cannot afford to lose this match i'm telling you because if bayern did not lose their last match we do not have a chance to win this uh, bundesliga all right so let's we go again I'm, I'm going i'm going really aggressive here please Zaka, please. Ah, oh, the keeper is able to get his glove on that. No, don't let him get past. Don't let him pass the ball. Oh my god, this is bad. Shit. 2 0 already in the first half, and we have a lot to do in the second half, to be honest. I right, don't let them score. Defend. Thank you. Take it out wide. I need, I need you guys to do something for me here please all right that is a good cross 
but we got it right. Can we score it? Yes, we can, and that is 2 1. Game on, baby. That is a really good pass from Hoffman or whoever passed that. It was a really good pass. I mean, once I got that in my stride, I got rid of the defender. I mean, he's not missing from there with 94 finishing and the shot power that he has. He's, there's no way that he's going to be missing that. Our right, Dortmund is looking to score again. They're looking pretty dangerous. I just need them to... I need my defense to, like, do something here. I need them to save my ass here. So, look like they're going to. And the keeper... The keeper is the one that saves my ass there. Oh, my God. That is such a good save. All right, Jontanta. You got this. I believe in you, bro. I believe in you. And, well... I don't know why he did that. All right, guys. Please, come on. Come up with a win here. Oh no, shit. Oh shit, that is not what I needed. I did not fucking need that, to be honest. Okay, Hoffman. That is good. That is good. All right, we're back in the game. We are back in the game. That is really good play between um, whoever this is and Conrad Zan. That is really good. All right, so we're back in it. We just need two more goals and we got the win here. So come on, there's one more assist under our belt and we are doing so well. Nice. All right, so we have another chance. That is brilliant. Let's come and get past this guy. Oh, shit. We got blocked up already. Who is there? No one. Oh, shit. That's offside already. That was already offside, so not really a lot could have been done there. Oh, no. Marlin is looking... Oh, my God. Don't let him... Why are they letting... Oh my god! That is so bloody annoying! That is so bloody annoying! Like, they are legit just looking at him run into the fucking post! Right, please do not let them score here, please. I can't have another 4-2 from this team again. Well, I mean, the last one was Bayern. Oh god, I think Malin has gotten a hat-trick against us in this match and he's just a pain in the fucking ass, to be honest. I, I don't even believe that we are going to be able to win this again. That's the crazy thing. All right, Mares, you are through. Oh, that's the Mares, rather. All right, get it to me, please. Oh, my God. And that is a goal. It's a goal. All right, but I don't think that we can equalize here, to be honest. I mean, we need to push so fucking hard to be able to equalize to be honest and i really hope that that is what we actually do that is a really good finish from zan there and um i need i swear to god if we equalize it's going to be absolutely insane if we equalize it's going to be insane we have two goals and an assist all right we can't have them score here we need to get the ball and immediately come out for a counter that's what that's exactly what we need right now a counter that we cannot fuck up no matter what and we cannot let them score here. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my days. Please get it out. Oh, oh my god. 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 Please. Oh my god. Fucking brave. Like, come on. There's something like last ball. I mean, I don't think the attack had any problems. The defense is more focused up on this match. But I really don't want to um, bash the defense so much because they've been doing so, so well recently. But, I mean, it, they're, they're really to be blamed, to be honest, because a lot of those, a lot of those goals by Marlin could have been easily avoided, like, easily avoided. So that loss really actually hurts us. Bayern didn't lose any matches at all. They are now six points ahead of us. So we need them to lose both matches for them to, for us to be able to win. And we need to score, like, a lot for that to even happen, because we're going to be drawn on points with them if we get six points and they get zero points. The next match is going to be who exactly it's against mines and that's that's the last match so we have we, we can't even win the freaking um bundesliga anymore so the last match is going to be against bayern and i'm going to be i don't know if i want to play as the full team to be honest because uh if we win i will feel like i cheated to be honest i really hope that we can at least get one trophy this season we already have one actually that is the german super cup malin did really well in that match to be honest i mean i will take his his performance away from him but our defense could have been able to easily stop him, to be honest. But that is not going to be the case, sadly. And now we have um, our final match in the Bundesliga. And it's going to be against Mind. I'm not going to play it because there's just really no point in playing the match, to be honest. Openda with 33, 21 goals. Maximilian Bayer with 19. Florian Britt with 19. Harry Kane with 
17 we have 14 now we got injured for five months that is mental though that is fucking mental so i mean a hat trick would get us to the top three rather to the top um four basically but i mean that's not going to work i mean we were really really unlucky in this match to be on in this season to be honest with that injury um i mean it has been a really good season i'm going to jump to results here and let's hope that we have a good match we score in the 47th minute we win the final match of the season against mines we got the man of the match once again we did not get any of the objectives though but i mean i'm completely fine with that um we failed <laughs> our current progress for leverkusen um, I don't know if that means that we're going to have to go to Leipzig in the next season. Sorry about that. But I mean, I don't know how it works though. I mean, if I can't stay in Leverkusen, then I'm going to stay in Leverkusen. But if I can't, I'm probably going to have to go to Leipzig because that is the only other option that is available to us. And Drogheda United, which I'm not going to do. Like, no matter what you do to me, I'm never going to that fucking club. I don't even know where the hell they are located. Alright, so this is going to be the match for all of the fucking marbles. We are looking at the DFP Pokal final. The preseason trophy is the only other trophy that we have won in this season. And it's not a major trophy, so I want to win a major trophy in our first season. Hopefully, we can actually get past Bayern to be able to do that. It's going to be a really, really tough ask, especially with the fact that they already demolished us earlier this season. We beat them in the second fixture of the season, though. So, I mean, I want the team to actually, like, play very well here. Like, no, no pushovers, no nothing. Everybody, I need everybody to be on their absolute best. I mean, I need to be on my absolute best as well, though. I'm putting my absolute best here, and we are already in a very controversial position. I need... The, I'm, I'm not even going to risk it. Like, look at that. Look at that already. All right. Please, get to me. No. No. What the hell? Byron keep a very high line. So I'm looking to... Oh, my God. That would have been one hell of a way to open the scoring in this match, man. That was insane from Zan. Oh no. Keeper, thank you so much for that. I'm not even going to risk this, that's the thing. Because they want to do some bullshit again. I can't believe I actually got the ball over Rudiger there, to be honest. Or whoever the hell that defender is. Alright, Michelle is looking very, very dangerous here. But I mean, he was impatient and he's not going to be able to. Oh my god. Alright. So let's hope that our defense actually like handles this properly. And I'm looking for a a counter attack but the keeper did really well there to get the save for our team all right we're still with the ball here maybe offside no yes that's a goal oh my god oh my god that is brilliant i love that so much <laughs> boris was i actually thought that the pass i gave was offside but apparently it wasn't it was perfectly timed Perfectly time at the past to Mares. I was not expecting it myself, but I mean, he did it. And we have we are one goal ahead of Bayern here, and we just need to hold this lead, even if it's the last thing we do. We need to hold this lead and at least get a win over Bayern and get at least one trophy. All right, nice, nice play, brilliant. Thank you. I think it's a goal, right? It's a goal. Thank you, and that is. That is the end of that goal. That was a brilliant goal. We did really well to get past the, the Bayern defense. The final pass from whoever that is. I don't know who that guy is. I don't know what his name is. But, I mean, the pass from him was spot on. It was pretty similar to the pass that we gave him. And uh, the roles are reversed now. And we are able to, like, fire home the second goal of this match. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. All right. So, yeah. I was just talking about keeping our position, but... Look at that. You know what would be really annoying? If Bayern actually get a second goal before the first half runs out. Oh my god, that is such a good goal. I did not expect that, but that is well worked. Pedro Gonzalez, that is exactly what I need. I mean, he's actually an actual striker, I would like to think. But, I mean, I'm the main striker in the team, so I mean, I really understand why he's playing, like, right behind me. But that is such a good goal from him. I'm actually really happy that I have someone that I can actually, like, assist with firepower like that. Nice. And I would like to get past this defender. Oh, my God. What is... What are these fouls, though? Like, that is just uncalled for on so many fucking levels. Kim and Jay. Brother. You have to chill. Like, should I just whip it in? Is someone going to be there to, like... 
get the ball. Do it on top, maybe. I need to figure out how to do those very well, to be honest. It is looking very dangerous. Let's hope that they no score rates, and that is a good save from the keeper. Sane was on a fucking mission there, but luckily for us, we were able to like get away with just a corner. All right, all right, keeper, 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 get to me fast. Thank you, Morris. I'm gonna need you to get this to me real quick. Boost it. Can we turn? Brilliant. Can I score here? Oh my god, that is such good defending from Kimmy J. Oh no. Alright, the defense, you guys got this covered. Thank you. Go Fanta. That's brilliant. No, don't let him get that ball. Oh my god, I swear to god, if he, if he made that shot, I would have been so pissed. That is nice. Alright, we are probably through. Can I score this? And they are able to intercept just before I shoot again. For example, I don't even know what the time is because, like, the scoreboard is glitched. I didn't think that would still be in FC 25, but it is what it is, isn't it? So we have plus one, so we're already at the end of the match. So I think we pretty much already won this. So, yeah, there we are. The German Cup champions, the DFB Pokal champions, uh, Mares, Conrad Jr. Zan, and Pedro Goncalves, Goncalves, get the goals for this match. And we are... German champions, domestic cup champions, and well, it was a really good match. Honestly, I feel like we have come a long way from that very first match we played against Bayern because that match we toyed with our defense like, well, I don't know, and it was actually the keeper that saved us the majority of the times. But now we were in charge, we were on top of them in this match, and we showed them who was fucking boss. It was a really, really good display from the team. Radeke is the keeper. I'm finally just seeing his name for the first time. And this is our first major trophy in FC25 player car mode. Korazan has his first major trophy under his trophy cabinet. And he worked really, really hard for it, to be honest. He didn't play the entire season. It wasn't like a majority of the matches that they fought for. But I mean, he did really well. And the match against Dortmund, he got us to... He got the team to the finals. And he also played a really good part in this final match, scoring a goal and creating a couple of other goals. We did really well. We got our objectives, um, all of them. This has to be one of the toughest and most interesting matches I've ever played and been a part of. And I'm really grateful that we actually do get to win here. Bayer Leverkusen beats FC Bayern to win the DFB Pokal in what was a memorable finale. Thousands of fans celebrate a hard-won victory. Pedro Goncalves did really well. I think he's the one that assisted me in that match and he also got a goal for himself all right so in the first season we actually get 26 goals in 23 appearances i can only imagine how many goals you would have scored if not for that five month long acl injury but our goal to match ratio is really good and in total we have 32 goal contributions in just our first season and that is a really really good performance from conrad zan jr but we did really well all right so this is the end of the season i really don't know what else is there to be played all right i think that we have the trophy parade after this exactly so anyways thank you guys for watching if you have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so i'll see you in my next video peace